Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will see how we can export our file from the Revit to the 3 ds Max. We will see the difference about the ways and we will choose the best way for us. So let's start. The first way how you can export your file, let's say you have that some 3D file, don't forget to export to your 3D, you should go to the 3D view. After that we will go to the file and after that export and we will use FBX. FBX this is after desks the um, after desk type of the files which the allows export your 3D. So and here as you see we don't have so much the settings. We will just use the use the load. This is mean the uh, our detail level of detail. And for example if you have the boundary so you can see here you should check it. If you don't have any boundaries, just use it without any boundary. And let's export it. As you see, I already exported, but I will do it one more time for you guys. So you are exporting just a few seconds and and done. Yeah, it's ready. So and it's able to uh, import to the 3 ds Max. But before we'll open the 3 ds Max, I will do the one more export. And second one, as you as you already know, I think we can export as uh, we can export as the CAD files like DWG. DWG also the support 3D, so we can export it, and we will see the difference about that. Let's make it like test one dash one. Sorry, one dash one. And let's export it. Export use sheets. La la la. We will export it. It will take more time because now we are exporting 3D and also the lines. So done. So we will go to down to 3D Max and we will see the difference between two this type of the export. So let's open our 3D Max. So here is our 3D Max and let's load first FBX. I not will load inside the project. I will create the link because uh, uh, the 3 ds Max allow us create the link. So as you see, link FBX. Let's choose that one and let's choose our file. And here we have like um, not much the settings, but it's very important. So the as you can see, this is the, the that one. It's really important. Here the 3 ds Max asking us like uh, how we want to combine uh, our, um, our geometry by Revit material, category, family and on and on. So I prefer using uh, by material because uh, when you're creating your object you are you're not will use the for example floor material to the roof. So uh, it can control by material. So I'm using the material and the incoming file units. It's already automatically as you see, I cannot change anything. So done. We don't have any more settings and just attach this file. Why I'm using the link? Because uh, I can update my file. Uh, and after that, I will just update the link. That's it. I don't need to load it inside the project. Uh, now the 2 ds Max asking us about the daylight system. So do we want to change it or no? This is your choice. I will say no. We will use the standard run one from the 3 ds Max. Let's go to here and as you see we keep some materials but some of the materials gone. We can check it. I'm now I'm going to the materials and I will use uh, this thing, this pick the materials and let's check it. As you see, we have some materials, but uh, I'm now using the Corona uh, engine and that's why it's not looks like properly. Let's try it to convert. Just a few seconds and if it's, I think everything now will be okay. Yeah, now everything okay and I can change the, my material. So uh, if you are using the FBX, you can export your materials too. As you see now everything okay except the train but it's it's never mind about that so this is what about fbx you can import your project without any problem so how you can unload it just go to the 3d max i mean this this menu 
and after that go to the reference and find the manage the links and here uh, by file the tab you will find our file tutorial expert blah 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 and you can detach it reload if you uh, update it or bind if you want uh, import inside the project so I will detach it because I don't need it now let's see the other uh, type of the file the dwg so but before I will load the wg I will delete this sum and let's go to the again to the menu and after that I will use again the reference where is the import oh sorry this is my most my mistake import and link after cut file and let's link our after cut file as you can see here we have here the a bit less um, settings like uh, dwg saved from aftercut exported from revit and aftercut architecture we will change to the exported from revit and now we can select the same layers if you want but um, it's can be just let's attach it this file and we will check what we will have and let's wait it and here our file now you can see we, we get the more properly drawings because we get the drawings from the um, from the like after cut and what about the materials we get even the trees I don't think I not remember we get it before or no anyway uh, it looks like more detail as you see and maybe even it's more control let's check it I want to see the warframe. Let's check the warframe. Uh, not I cannot say like it's better. But anyway, it's it, you can work with this. You really can work with this. Okay, now you can see we can export by FBX or we can export by DWG. It uh, doesn't play so much, but here you cannot combine it by material, by category and other things. So this is really terrible. And so let's check the other uh, uh, file type of the file. This is called DAE, so DIA or Collada file, uh, which supports the uh, SketchUp. Let's do it. Before I will delete this project, uh, yes, I can manipulate with this project. At the, and as you see, this is linking geometry. Let's delete this project. We cannot do like this. And we will go again to the manage links and detach it okay so let's go back to the Revit and as you see here I have one more extension Lumion so I not will export it to Lumion I will export it like DAA file so you can find it here Collada file let's export it I will choose the surface move the highest one and collect the texture and export nodes let's export you can also the skip some interior details if you want but I don't want it so let's export uh, I already did it, but I will do it one more time. Let's the reload. I mean the uh, resave it. Just few seconds. Now I will go to the 3 ds Max, and now I want to use the import. So I will import this file now. So let's import our file. As you see, this is a most. Uh, uh, most highest one I mean the 40 uh, GB even the uh, it's lightest one it's the DWG only 5 so let's open up it now the uh, 3ds max asking what we want uh, imports so I don't need any animation I don't need any camera so I don't need any lights I will use from the uh, 3ds max and let's say ok of course some warnings let's say it's not compatible with FBX. I'm okay with that. So we get some file, and as you see, we don't have, we cannot see any geometry. So we can see only the surfaces from the our glass. This is really terrible. But still, this is have the geometry, but uh, something wrong. Okay, as you see, the um, 3ds Max working not very well with Collada type file. You should do here so much things. 
so this is not what we want right so let's delete this type of the file and we will check the last one the type of files this is revit files exactly revit file so for that one i will go again to the 3 ds max and uh, i will import the revit link file as i said i'm using link because i can update it in revit for example and after that i just going to the 3 ds max and update it i don't need to reload it i mean so the problem is because my 3ds max it's 2017 but my revit it's 2019 so what we're gonna do uh revit actually don't have any downgrade system i mean you cannot create your project in 2019 and save it in the less than 2019 so this is really a terrible thing this is mean like you should have the uh after, like 3ds max 2019 but then nice the good news i have revit 2017 let's open the, the revit 2017 and i want to show you how it's working when you importing the revit file insights to the your 3ds max project so that's why if you will ask me nico what should i uh, how i should the export uh, the revit project to the 3ds max i will say use fbx because this is format uh, will give you much the settings and much tools to control your project as you see if you are using the revit files you should have the same version or you should have the uh, your Revit version less than 3ds Max. So uh, here we are. Uh, or oh, it's the old menu. I already not remember what's going on here. Let's uh, open new, new the annotation project. Where's the sam sample projects here? I see. I already forgot about everything about this project. The new. No, not I no one on you. I want just uh, create. Uh... Ah, yes, open Opal sample files. Oh my God, I already forgot everything from the last uh, version. So let's find our project. Where is this project? Basic, I mean. Ah, uh -huh, this is here. Let's open up. And we will resave it now in my folder. And after that, I will load it to the 3 ds Max. So I will make the like speed run. Here we are. Let's go to the uh, 3ds Max again. Let's go to the import and import the Revit link file. And here we are. This is a version of 2017. Let's open up. And now it should work everything smoothly. But I didn't close my Revit. But as you see, it's working everything. So now the Revit asking which the view we want. I will use the 3D view and let's say OK. As you see, we have here again the settings like uh, combined by material, by category and other, other, other things. I will combine by material and let's... Um, and we here able load only one view, for example, only uh, view 3D. So it means I will load all this building. But if I will make, for example, only room bounding, and I will make, for example, like this here, the view from Yard. The Revit, I mean the 3ds Max will load only this view. So let's attach this file and let's see what's going on now here. I think it's everything should be this uh, looks same like FBX file because you can see now the tools it's pretty same. So I will back when it will finish. Now Revit, uh, uh, sorry, 3ds Max again asking us about the light, the light system. I will say again no. So here we are. It's already finished. Let's check it what's going on here. Actually, don't afraid it because if we will uh, look more close, uh, I will change my wireframe node to the shading. As you see, the texture is pretty same like uh, FBX file, but we have the all the cameras all the cameras from Revit. So we can change, for example, this uh, view, for example, to approach and we can control it in Revit and render it in here. So you no need to think about, for example, how it's, how you should put your cameras to, uh, for it looks like in Revit. So you can put it here. And even the light system, it's uh, also came from the Revit. Anyway, you will change it. So as you see, everything pretty same. 
So, uh, like overall, uh, better to use uh, Revit file and connect it to the 3D Max. But here the one thing, your Revit file should be equal to your 3D Max file. I mean, your Revit version should be be equal to 3D Max version. If your Revit more high, you cannot connect to your 3D Max. But most people using still. Uh, 3D Max to for 2015 and 2016 because this two this two version it's most stable version. That's why. Uh, so the my approach for you used uh, FBX file. Actually, it's everything pretty same as you see. The it's not much settings and you can control it. So this is uh, it about uh, how you can export your file from the Revit to the mm, 3D Max. Next time we will speak more about that and I will show you some tricks and tips uh, how you can prepare your project before you will export it. Thank you guys for watching this video I know uh, a bit longer but I should show you everything, all the solutions and now I think it's clear about the export. So thank you again and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.